According to research done by Jessica Gerald, PhD, at the University of North Carolina Medicine, with her colleagues, it was found out that babies with autism spectrum disorder had differences to neurotypical children in the brain's visual processing areas at six months old. The research was done by the USA's National Institute of Health. The scientists thought that's why babies with autism spectrum disorder behave differently with caregivers and the environment compared to neurotypical children. They also thought that this was why the babies had autism spectrum disorder symptoms and that this could affect future brain development. The study was published in the American Journal of Psychiatry. You can learn more about the study from the article that I've provided in the description. I thought that this was interesting since Asperger's test site says I have Asperger's and I also have aphantasia, which is, no, which is also called no mind's eye, visual imagination or imagery thinking. However, it is said that the guy who um, Asperger's is named after, they said that he might have been a Nazi. I've read that the visual cortex to the back of the brain doesn't work well uh, in people who have aphantasia. And that aphantasia is connected to autism symptoms. In people with aphantasia, compared to people who have excellent visual imagination, the connections from the eye to the back of the brain um, to the visual cortex, it's weaker in people in aphantasia. People with excellent visual imagination have hyperphantasia. I was thinking that aphantasia might have been a subtype of, of autism or something, but it might actually just be what autism is.